When we hear this? Brazil. No Brazil, Brasileiro. So what do we imagine first? Simply those wonderful cliches we all long so much for and we associate with joy and happiness. And what about São Paulo? How do we picture this town? <music> Believe it or not, São Paulo is probably the biggest surprise of Brazil. We hear only about skyscraper, chaos, the town of the modern era, but it's a very cosmopolitan town with a rich cultural heritage. Vai trabalhar, vagabundo, vai trabalhar, criatura, Deus permite a todo mundo uma loucura. Segunda-feira, beleza, embarca com alegria na... The financial center of Brazil is constantly on the move. Brazilians also say that São Paulo is the city of workaholics. Those who choose this place come here to work and grow. However, the tense richest metropolis of the world has always invested a huge amount of money in culture and entertainment. The 20 million metropolis is Latin America's most important cultural pole and its biggest melting pot with a great diversity. During the 19th century and the two world wars, millions of Europeans sought refuge in Brazil. São Paulo is home to the second biggest Japanese community in the world. The majority of the huge Italian community also remained here. Portuguese, Spanish, German and Arab immigrants contribute to make this city so multicultural. Walking in the historical center of the town, we might have the feeling that we are in some European countries, like Italy, France, Germany, the streets of Prague or Budapest or what? What about this building? In the beginning, whenever I passed in front of it, I felt like I was in New York. I imagined American women with their elegant walk. I heard the hot jazz, the sound of free America. I couldn't be any further from the truth. Edificio Marcinelli is the first skyscraper of South America. It was visualized by the wealthy owner of shipping companies, the Italian Giuseppe Martinelli. Martinelli got authorization for a 12-story building, but he realized his ambitious plan by tricking the authorities. I met the nice guide of the building, Edson Cabral, who talked about the history of the legendary Edificio Marcinelli. For 12 years now, Cabral has been receiving tourists from around Brazil and the world. O sonho dele era fazer um prédio que não só marcasse São Paulo, Brasil, América Latina e no mundo. Em 1924, ele resolveu iniciar a obra. Então ele reuniu a equipe e deu um ultimato. Eu quero que vocês façam a fundação desse prédio para 30 andares. The millionaire aimed to build the tallest and the most luxurious tower of South America. He brought cement from Switzerland and Norway, Latvian wood for the doors, Tuscan marble for the stairs. Swiss lifts, English toilets, Belgian mirrors and wallpapers, the best of everything. Quando ele chegou no 20 andar, ele foi embargado porque as pessoas que moravam aqui próximo entraram em pânico, achando que o prédio fosse cair. Martinelli, in order to complete the original plan, the 30 floors, built his own residence on the top of the skyscraper. Eu quero uma vila italiana. Para provar que era seguro, ele se mudou com a família dele para cá. Ele, a esposa, dois filhos e a sogra. Morar com a sogra a 130 metros de altura tem que ter coragem. Eu não sei se ela jogou praga nele, porque no mesmo ano esse homem se quebrou. Se quebrou com creche, a Bolsa de Valores de Nova York. Quando ele se quebrou, a única alternativa foi recorrer ao Banco Pelavoro da Itália, pegar dinheiro emprestado e aí conseguiu terminar todo o prédio. The building became the penthouse of the upper classes. The wealthiest people of São Paulo lived in its luxurious flats. The fanciest cinema of the town, Cine Rosario, operated here with exclusive sessions only for the richest on Fridays. 
There was the most elegant hotel of the era here, a church, a dance school, clubs, restaurants and casinos. In the 60s, abandoned, the luxurious penthouse became the most feared slum. It was called Vertical Favela and was invaded by homeless, prostitutes and drug dealers. It became the hub of the most famous murders of the era. The authorities took over control, renovated and remodeled the building in just four years, and it became the headquarter of many financial institutes and state departments. If you come to visit this metropolis, make sure to visit the historical center and the Martinelli building. This building is a scenario that all of us would like to be present. Because it's a building not only important in São Paulo, Brazil, America Latina and the world.